I am very excited to announce that I'm teaming up with Mr. Humble. He has a Facebook group called Men Competitive Gaming. Link to that is in the description. Go over there, find some other games, find some lab partners, have a great time, converse with some people that have the same interest as you. I'm over there. You can message me. Overall, just a great time. Really recommend you check it out. And let's get into the video. Hey guys, welcome to another video on my channel. Now I'm going to make this a short intro. These are gonna be games number 11 to 20 from this past weekend's weekend league stream all uh, over live on Twitch. Link to that is in the description. Also later today, I'm gonna post my trip side and defense. That is one thing that I've been kind of looking to post for quite a long time. I bag up some uh, trips defense trips, offenses. Uh, in this video, you can see kind of what I'm doing, kind of foreshadowing what I'm gonna post later today. But of course, be ready for that. And yeah, anything else pretty much, just let me know in the comments below what you like about this video. If you have any video, video suggestions and any things you want me to cover, let me know. Subscribe to the channel and let's get into it. Alright, so jumping into game 11. As you guys already know, I did games number 1 through 10 from the last video. I did it in the last video and it was all... It was straight W's, man. 8 and 2 right now, which 8 and 2, I don't even know to be honest if that's that good a record as he bombs me right there. Because generally, if you want to go for top 100, you have to be better than, let's just say, 9 and 1, 10 and 1. That's kind of where you want to be at. But 8 and 2, that's that makes it difficult because you already have two losses. Now, right there, beautiful laser from me, double post across the middle. I will do a re, uh, like a redone version of my ebook on the uh, bunch of offset formation as you can see me wiggling to the end zone right there because i feel like that is something that i'm very comfortable with and i just want to let you guys know what i'm doing some stuff that i'm trying out it's new so even for you guys that are interested please make sure to subscribe to the channel to not miss that also later today i'll do a video on how i stop the trip side and you will see a couple of games right here uh, as you can see me find the laser uh far's release is so good man uh Favre has such a quick release i honestly don't know uh, why not more people are using him? Well, I guess I kind of do know because hot rod master quarterbacks are amazing. As right there, he throws a I throw a beautiful laser with Brett Favre. He has the Aaron Rodgers release and also with Gunslinger combined. That's just that's just too glitchy. Also, Gunslinger just got a little bit more expensive, which is annoying. Not gonna lie, like that is something that is really annoying because I liked it, but two AP might just be a little bit too much even consider some of the other abilities that are in this game beautiful laser uh get the chance to score another touchdown before the half as i do right here that was really close though at the time of throwing the ball i kind of felt like it could be a pick as speaking about picks this pick is gonna let him get right back into the game he gets up really quickly and yeah my tight end is not gonna catch up to him and also um Devin Hester is not gonna catch up to him so that's kind of annoying I feel like that was very unnecessary as right here on fourth down thankfully I convert if I hadn't converted on fourth down right there this might be this might be a different game we're talking about it's right there uh DK just wins the press or is it DK no it's Devin Hester my bad uh Devin beats the press he is just way too fast it's right there playmaker is up the field I was ready for that he did he did that the entire game and this time I pounced on it got the pick beautiful job and I just take time off the clock. I take it under the two minute warning. He's down two possessions. There's pretty much nothing you can do except for right here. He scores. He scores. He didn't waste a single timeout, which is annoying because now he still has a theoretical chance. And I throw it up because I think DK is going to beat him. But no, DRC gets back there. He gets the pick. Good job by him on defense holding me. But I, I mean, I gave him the ball kind of. Uh, he drives down. He's already at my 28-yard line. He playmakers up this time. Oh my God! I get clicked on to Aaron Donald. I don't get an animation. And now first and goal. I might lose this. Just kidding. Just kidding. Uh, thankfully, he checked it down. That was not a good read. He tried to hurry it up. He tried to spike it, or not. No, he just tried to regularly hurry it up. But no chance right there. Nine and two. You can see the record in the bottom left corner. We are playing against someone who stopped three. I don't know if it is that smart to have Sam Mills in your top three. I really don't, to be honest. Like, he needs Lurker to be viable, and that just costs so many AP. You might just spend it on somebody else because safeties can jump. Uh, he can only jump if he has. Uh, it's right there. You can see I am boxed. I get outside, get back inside the pocket, and I can scramble for the touchdown. Thank God. Uh, Brett Favre is not that fast, just right there, you can see me get the second, fourth, and two. Uh, Brett Favre is not that fast, but he just has enough speed to get it done as I throw a beautiful laser. Um, very tight window, sometimes I just see myself zeroing on a route and I just find the window when it's open. Had that not been open, I probably wouldn't have gotten anything. Right there, he runs like a PA end around type setup. 
It looked very similar to PA in the round in Madden uh, 15, but he just throws it right at Shaquille Griffin, and he's not gonna play. Uh, he's not gonna play around. He's gonna get the pick. Nine and two at this point. He's done. Ten and two. So I'm kind of like making up some ground. I'm playing in the Patriots Stadium, stadium, which is of course always a pleasure. Just kidding. I absolutely dislike the Patriots. They robbed my Seahawks of a uh, second Super Bowl trophy back to back years, but. Well, I guess that's more so uh, the play calling, but uh, fourth and thirteen, he really just throws a low pass short of the line of scrimmage. That's the thing, thing with low passes, beautiful pass to the side. Uh, they often don't give you great rack animations, and right there, that cost him. He got tackled before the first down. I have to settle for three though, but it's three points that I got off his drive right there. Good cross for him. And you will see in the future that cross is gonna play a big role in this game. Second and goal right here. Uh, he runs an RPO. This guy, he ran a lot of random shit. It really confused me. Uh, I was not so comfortable with defense this game. I can't like good slant my uh, So I just kind of let him uh, we, uh, get, get down the field with some really weird plays. But I get the ball in the second half, so that's fine. I scored three points. I can throw that post. Don't fumble, DK. I appreciate you. Almost the first down. Move the sticks, though, on the, la on the last play. Right Let's play the next play. I uh, check it down to Reggie Bush. And Reggie Bush, he is really glitchy. I'm thinking about investing into that Alvin Kamara. If you guys watched my last video, I'm rebuilding my, th my team. As right there, you can see. Throws it right at Sam Mills. I mean, I would have been there with the user. I don't really trust linebackers to make catches. But right there, Sam Mills made a catch. I appreciate you for that, my guy. I kicked the field goal. I'm up eight points, which is a pretty comfortable lead. I just have to make sure he takes some time off the clock right here. It's right there, he playmakers, he playmakers, and he gets it open. That was so lucky. I'm, I'm still, I feel the pain that I felt in that moment because it seemed like it was an illegal forward pass, and right there, he just fits in. Uh, he holds my zones down with the play action, and right there, he runs QB, uh, whatever it's called, QB power, QB rap. I don't, yeah. Anyways, with the jet sweep motion, right there, game is tied. I throw a stupid pick on third and ten. I really had all the time in the world. I really had, did not have to force that, and I just. I make a mistake, you you see right here, he fits it in, in the tiniest of windows, that is, uh, what is that? I think that's Dante Jackson. If he doesn't make that play, then I'm, I mean, he doesn't have the greatest zone, to be fair, but the fact that he make, doesn't make that play right there is very frustrating. He gets the first down, he wins the game off of it, so that is 10-3 and three after I was up 8 in the fourth quarter. Had the chance to just get a field goal and win, and I just didn't do it. All right, there, you try and get sick of it there, and Hester, you can see my stick skills. Kind of bad, kind of bad. I still get to the 17 yard line. Had have to go for uh, the field goal though. Get the field goal up three points, and that is kind of one thing that I have got very bad at. It's just going first uh, drive touchdowns. I it feels like I always get I always uh, have to settle for three. But my opponent, I can find a way to stop him. Thankfully, thankfully, uh, find the angle out. Angle out speed main coverage. That is one thing that I will uh, put big uh, put a lot of emphasis on. My bad, you guys. Uh, on my bunch of offset videos, still don't get anything going though. I have to settle for three. And right here, you can see him rolling out of the pocket with a cover two beater. I don't know why I'm running cover two, to be honest. I really do not understand why I'm running cover two. At the end of the half, that is pretty stupid. He tries to uh, rush at me. But you can see I have the man up 3D Peter. If you want to uh, see me talk about that in a video, let me know. Maybe I'll even make part of the bunch ebook because a lot of people are running this online. I want to make sure you guys know about it too. It is really glitchy. Like, man up three deep is not the safest defense anymore. It's right there, third and goal. Ah, just gets that ball out of sack, man. I thought I had him, but I guess I didn't. Uh, good use by my opponent, but I can just make my way to the corner on third and nine. Thank God I found that. Good completion by me. Right here, I fumbled the ball. Are you serious? I fumbled the ball. Thankfully, uh, he's not that fast. Who was that Julius Peppers who picked it up? But still, man, I fumbled the ball in a good spot. And right there, I ran commit. But he makes a mistake. He thinks Taylor Mays is slower than uh, Davis. Oh, who's that? I forgot the name. Vernon Davis. My bad, you guys. Uh, he thinks that I'm slower. But no, man. No, 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 no. You are not testing me. And right there, I oh, almost threw a pick. These, uh, this double post with the pass lead up is selling me this game. Uh, bad, bad throw by me right there. But... This entire weekend league, I've always been passing up this double post, and it has cost me quite a bit. It really has. Ten and four right now, which is really frustrating. I felt like I should have beaten that guy. Also, what can you do? Fumbles at an unopportune time, and right there you can see me playing 
a Dolphins theme team. I don't know why he would be running a Dolphins theme team. Maybe it's just a fan, but I mean, th I guess that's fine. But Dolphins theme team really not competitive. As you can see me right there going with the cover two beater, second and goal right here on the six yard line. I'm running kind of a mesh post setup at right their playmaker up. Don't see really see anything. Psych. Uh, the R1 just gets all across the field, uh, which is really nice. Find it in the end zone. That is one thing that is annoying. Even if I'm okay right there, just shows right at me. Good use of me. Uh, it seems like the zones in the end zone really don't cover until the boundary, and that is a big issue. Also, why do I still get that pop up like that? That house pulls is all the way over. Right there, he throws it at me. Bad read by him. Uh, I don't know. It's uh, str not strong close. Split close can be really difficult to stop, but yeah, you have to know what you're doing. Like this guy, he, he was just throwing it at me left, right, and center. He has had enough of it. He feels like, all right, I'm not going to waste your time, not going to waste my time. We're cool. I'll just quit playing against Fat with the double T LaFlair. Uh, you can see me with my Cardinals team team. This actually last weekend is right there. He's just to send a blitz at me and I just glitch him. Uh, this is actually my last weekend in the Cardinals and Seahawks 25 out of 25 team team. Uh, both are 25. Uh, because I feel like my team is not really competitive, I'm revamping it. Uh, good crosser by my opponent. Yeah, that is one of the most annoying things. Uh, you, you cannot play uh, zone drops to cover that crosser the entire way. And I'm struggling with that, to be honest. Like... He doesn't get out there right there good catch by my opponent i guess that's not really a cheat like you get those air, air catches if uh your player has uh the better uh position on him right there you can see me play maker up i go for the aggressive catch because i don't i want to uh when the player breaks, breaks down like that oftentimes if you get an aggressive catch there's it's really difficult for your opponent to trigger a two-man animation where he also a uh, good cross by my opponent he was patient enough uh, where he gets an interaction with the receiver and that's why I can go for aggressive catch really safely right there I didn't feel comfortable uh, uncomfortable about that throw I only give up three points which is huge because now I am have a little bit of a better chance right there beautiful corner now I have a little bit of a better chance to get some points this drive is right there I just punch it in with very little time left on the clock which is nice because now he has to go to the second half and it's already a fourth and five I clicked onto my D lineman though and yeah, this trip side end, I end up bagging it, but right there, if I clicked on, get clicked onto my D-line, what are you going to do? A uh, third and seven right here, you will see how I just find a way uh, to not get a stop. That is one thing that is annoying that I've kind of noticed. I say annoying a lot. It's right there, he's at the one yard line, he, he just punches it in. Thought I could get it, uh, but you can pass lead the post from the tight end over the top of uh, 15 yard uh, curve flats and also underneath it. That is one thing that I have noticed and that is pretty frustrating to deal with. Right there, get the beautiful completion to the corner. Out. Talking about a corner, out, I'm an idiot throwing that corner out and he almost gets a touchdown off it. Uh, thankfully, I have enough people back there uh, to slow him up a little bit. I make the tackle, but I only had to kick three, man. Only had to kick three and the game would have been over. But third and ten right here, I was, I was, I'm telling you guys, if you give me enough reps against chips at end, I'll find a way so slow it down, maybe not the J wall or the fancy chip set in, but just any regular person in weekly league, I can find a way to bag them right there. He just chucks it up on fourth and ten. And that's the game, man. He only has one more timeout. I ended up clutching up again, like I said, later today. Watch out for the trips, tight end, defense. 12 and 4 at this one. And this is where I played the guy who I made a video on, I think two days ago. He he ran such a tough offense. It was so glitchy. It only had a few plays. But I just could not stop it because he kept quick hiking me. Anyways, right here you can see. I go for the deep beater. Uh, he ran man coverage right there. Devin has to. Good job. Devin has to. He's really fast and he has 90, uh, 90 plus deep route running. But he's way too expensive. He didn't perform for me how much, uh, his price tag at all. Uh, and right there. just I just throw a stupid pass. I give him 7 points right there which you cannot do. I did not know how good this guy's offense offense was at this point. But if you watch this game, if you continue watching this game, as Reggie Bush does a good job of catching up almost, uh, you will notice that how tough it is to stop. You can't spot someone like that seven points. Um, right there, I'm trying to get a little bit aggressive right there. He just ran cover two. Uh, good job by me playmaking up, though. I get the uh, rack egg. Thank God I didn't get a hit. Uh, knocked out at the one yard limit here and i'm just gonna be conservative gonna take my yards get in there you fat f uh as stone would say and now we get into the real deal uh 
he kind of forced that streak that was not really open. Uh, so you might see it. I was thinking at this point, all right, I always struggle stopping. Uh, good angle up by me. I always struggle stopping a slot offset, but this guy might not know what he's doing. So I maybe was a little bit careless that drive. This drive, as you can see, second and 17. I tried to go for it, but he just gets position, and that is something that I have been struggling with. Beating press man out of bunch, I have to just get back to the things that I used to do. I just, I just have to remember uh, what I did. And here, first and ten, you can see uh, how tough the offense was to stop. He really rarely ever missed a read. Good job by him taking the angle out here, right here. Uh, the corner out got open, and. Here he throws that streak where he threw it with a little bit better timing. So there's just so much to show. And I'm only showing you guys these plays just to show you how quick uh, hitting his offense was. He really almost always had something open right there. Bad. Oh no, I thought I was going to force it to the double post. Throw it to uh, Deion Sanders though. Almost getting for the touchdown. About four yards short. So I have to take my points. Can't play like an idiot. Gotta take my points. Gotta see what I can do in the second half. But sadly he gets the ball. And you can see Dante Culpepper is lit up. He has ah, could pass by him. I thought I could get that. I thought the deep zone was going to play that. But he he timed that perfectly. Also good deep streak by him right there. And it's just pretty much impossible to stop someone who has um, Omaha. Uh, did I say Bazooka early? I might have. Uh, but good pass by me. Can't get out though, sadly. A little bit too tired. Uh, it, it is almost impossible to stop someone who knows what he's doing. It's right there, I get. Uh, throw out of sack. Uh, fumble. Pick it up, can't advance it though. And now we're in a pretty dire situation. Like we have to get points right here this drive. And I get the throw out of sack. Probably wouldn't have been open anyways. I'm j I'm really frustrated because this guy really knew what he was doing. It was so tough to stop. I kind of had an idea of how to stop it. But he was just quick hiking me and I could never move the, the people in the position. Because I had to move the safety down to cover the streak and the post. And then if I were to click back to get back into a position to stop the inside zone. Then he would quick hike me and not not really quick hike me, you know, but he would just hike the ball, and it would it it would just get ugly. So right there you can see me. I go for it on fourth and six just because I know how tough how tough his offense is. I have to take my chances. It's right there. I go with a beautiful Z route uh, that beats out of yeah um, beautiful by me. Uh, he ran that play with a delay fade that entire uh, earlier game, and I just banked on the fact that he had such a poor angle, so thought I crossed where it would get played, and right there it did get played. Outswerve me right here a little bit. Thank you for the block. Devin has to end. We out is already up 14 to nothing. I'm kind of in a good spot. I can, I'm kind of in a good spot. Just have to not make any mistake. Try to at least slow his offense down. First and 10 right here. Uh, he makes a beautiful read to the post. I bait it down to the angle out for a second. Immediately went back to it. Oh my god. That, th those are the kinds of plays that really frustrate you because he did not mean to throw that ball and he gets a touchdown off it. So. Also, th this is frustrating because there was nothing open, and I just forced it. Give him the ball back. He gets another drive before the end of the half. And right here, you can see that crossing route is absolute money. If you wait long enough, if you pass lead it up the field. I really had great uh, trouble stopping this cross. As right here, you can see me sending the spy way too early. I recognize it, but I I'm just too late to get to Dante Culpepper. He gets into the end zone. Good play by my opponent. He sent, I sent the blitz at him right here, but he just has so many people blocking. And, uh, Isla lost it. He gets the touchdown, and already he came back 21 points in a row. Just basically off of me being stupid right there. Tyler Lockett. DK was so tired because he had two uh, two bench presses on the outside cornerbacks. Uh, Mac Metcalf was too tired, but TD Tyler Lockett made up for it. It's right there. You can see on the play out. I had hard fat out there. And that's one thing that is, I've noticed, pretty frustrating. Uh... Linebackers don't really get out in zones. They just don't. They're too slow. You have to manually move them out. And that, of course, gives you the chance to get quick quick hiked. It's right there. Fourth and nine. I just force it. Very bad play by me. I really had trouble with his main coverage the entire game. First and five right here wins uh, of size the previous play. And right here, the game is over. Like, there's no way for me to come back. I'm just, I'm just throwing in the towel. I'm really frustrated because this guy... I've been matching up with him, or I matched up with him back to back times, and that is always annoying. I don't know why that happens. I really hate that. Uh, just give me 25 different opponents, EA, please. I don't want to lose back to back to the same guy. Uh, very frustrating, but we have to move on 12 and 6 at this point, and I really just, 
I totally gave up on top 100 right here because, like, I have to win seven games in a row to get 19 wins, and I don't even think 19 wins gets you top 100 uh, right now. And so, I really just cut loose. I really just did not mind too much anymore. I get the pick on the corner. A shout out to Buda Baker, good pick by you. Trying to get a little bit sticky, that hurdle though messes me up a little bit. Uh, but yeah, I really just started caring less. Good throw by me over the uh, to the post, and that really kind of helped me to be honest. Right there, that guy had no uh, intentions of staying uh, in the game any longer. So we're already at the last, or not at, already in the last game of the video, uh, playing against King Jaw Allen. If I can read that correctly, he has another Raiders theme team. And Raiders, let me tell you, they are the ones you want to go after. I'm currently building one. I don't know. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm always, I was I was surprised during the game, and I'm surprised right now. I can't believe that he threw that. Nevertheless, you can see me f uh, flying in the laser to the wheel route. And he's running trips at end. You can see how I'm pretty much boxing him up the entire time. I was Right there, I zoomed out because he had the smoke screen on the outside wide open. Uh, he tries to playmaker right here. I was a little bit too late to it, but... I. Had he not, even had he not gotten a throw out of sack, I still would have been there. So, not really too worried about that. I can hit the angle out right there. He just had no idea what he was doing. He was just trying to send heat. But, um, I just found people open right there. You can see Dion working himself open. That was pretty good coverage, not gonna lie. But, Dion just fought for me. He got open. And right there, uh, third and four, you can see I'm on Aaron Donald. And <laughs> I get the pick. So, if you guys want to get the trips at M back, be later tonight. I'll be posting that. For t for now, I'm out here though. Uh, this was games number 11 to 20. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know by, uh, by hitting the like button on this video. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section. If you want to see any particular videos, let me know in the comments as well. Always looking out for suggestions. I appreciate you taking the time. And until next time, goodbye guys.